Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would kind of start giving you guys a little bit um, of a tour of my house. Um, Kenny and I recently purchased a house in January of 2021. Um, and so we've been decorating it, kind of making it our own. Um, and so I thought I would just kind of start by doing little bits here and there for you guys. So today we are going to do a tour of our bathroom and then also our bedroom. Um, I'll try to link things down below so that way you guys kind of know where I got things on um, but yeah without further ado let's get into it all right so this is our little tiny hallway that we have um, here I have this art piece from mm, I want to say Target I think it was Target where we got this can you correct me if I'm wrong Target or Home Goods can't remember no, this was Home Goods. Okay, so this art piece was from Home Goods. It just says family. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple. And then when you come down, you kind of see this light fixture. So Kenny and I, when we got this house, every light fixture and all of the doorknobs and everything was gold. And I kind of just felt like it was a little outdated and I wanted to give it a more modern, organic feel. So I picked out this, um, what's it called? It's not really a chandelier, I guess light fixture from Amazon and then we got this specific light from Lowe's. Um, as you go down, we have the bathroom here and the bedroom here. Um, I'll probably do bedroom first and then end with the bathroom. Here is kind of a linen closet and I've kind of organized it in a way that can be like aesthetically pleasing but also functional, right? So I have these bins um, from Target. I think they're super cute, super simple. Um, so I just have everything there. And then things that don't really fit into bins, I just have on the side. So nothing super exciting. I How many of those of, are yours? I'm sorry? How many of those are yours? What do you mean? How many of those have your things in them? All of them except one. Yeah. Mind your business. Moving on. Okay, so we have the bedroom. <laughs> what? Is I ready to go be? Okay, we have the bedroom. I absolutely love the way that our bedroom turned out. Um, for the most part, if you guys saw my apartment tour from I think, I think honestly it was like about a year ago. Um, you'll see a lot of similar things, a lot of the same pieces from that apartment tour. However, the main big change is a couple of little decor pieces here and there, but the furniture is completely new. Um, our furniture before had more of a farmhouse kind of rustic feel to it. Um, and I kind of wanted to make things brighter and just more airy as I came into this new house. So we got these um, furniture pieces from Wayfair. Um, and they're honestly relatively cheap. Um, because long term, Kenny and I don't want this, you know, to be our forever home. It's kind of just while I'm in dental school and whenever I graduate, this can kind of be um, an investment property that we can rent out. Um, so I wanted to get furniture that, you know, looked nice, um, but wasn't um, super expensive, super pricey. So Wayfair um, was absolutely perfect for that. Um, moving in. We have this beautiful knitted blanket that I got from Target. Um, it's from the same company that got that candle. I want to say it's Casa Luna. Um, I can definitely link it down below for you guys or put in the comments of different things that you see that you um, kind of want. Now, this lamp from the apartment um, tour vlog, so you guys already know that's from Target. I have my Young Living <sighs> essential oil. Um, and all that stuff, nothing has really changed, just mostly, like I was saying, was the um, nightstand. Um, but yes, back to this blanket. I absolutely love this blanket. It's so soft and it's kind of difficult to care for if you have dogs or, you know, cats because it is knitted and as you can kind of see, Kobe just likes to rub himself on it. He likes to cuddle in it and then I get these wonderful, amazing snags, which is uh, very annoying, but um, it's really soft, super cozy, and when Kenny and I just want to kind of just relax and chill in here and watch a movie, this is the perfect blanket to kind of cuddle up with. Um, these pillows over here are from Target as well, and we have a duvet cover over it, 
Um, we got that from Amazon as well. I just really like having a super white bed because it kind of just gives me that airy kind of relaxing vibe. And then we have the iconic photograph of us um, above. Those were part of our bridles that we took um, and we had them um, made into some sandwiches. So kind of going over here, I redecorated the dresser because I wanted it to just be super minimal um, and kind of just a decor statement piece in itself. So here I got this face from Target and this is also from Target as well. I'm really starting to kind of get into the stony cement decor pieces um, and so you'll kind of see that transition as I show you other parts of the house. Um, but these you cannot buy at the store but um, in Michigan like all on the highways or different random parts of like businesses they have these plants I don't know what they're called but they resemble pompous grass and if you are someone like me who likes pompous grass it can kind of be expensive but I absolutely love it so um, I had Kitty kind of just snip 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 and get us some stuff I could create them into some decor pieces so you'll definitely see a lot of them around the house um, and then of course I have to have candles because I absolutely love them um, pretty much I go to either Target for candles or White Barn slash Bath and Body Works um, my go-to's this candle is probably hands down one of my favorite candles um, this is from the Target brand Casa Luna and I absolutely love it. If you're someone that doesn't like super strong scents but just kind of like laundry, very calming pieces. <laughs> if you're somebody who likes um, calming, very relaxing pieces, I would definitely get this candle. It smells amazing and it just sets the vibe. Um, a lot of people liked this kind of nightstand. If I had it my way 100%, I would have both nightstands matching, but we do have a dog. We have two now actually. Um, Hannah's cage is somewhere else, but Kenny needed a nightstand and I wanted something functional, but also that wasn't an eyesore. So Kenny's nightstand is actually Kobe's um, dog cage, which I think is super cute, super functional, and I won't complain now, but next time we move, we are 100% getting matching nightstands, and I will figure out where to go with the sleep line. Hannah Bonanna, baby girl. <laughs> are you still in the show? Hannah Bonanna. Are you gonna give the rest of the tour? Huh? Give us a smile, Hannah. Hannah Bonanna. Yeah, <laughs> smile for us, baby. Hannah, baby. Oh, so cute. Hannah Bonanna. So these two doors are um, the closets. I guess like his and hers closets. Um, but yeah, um, nothing super exciting here. Kind of small, but I made it work. My clothes are color coordinated. Um, and I have all of these wooden hangers and kidneys are the same because I love for everything to absolutely match. Um, but yeah, Kenny's just been interesting with a couple of my clothes hanging up. But like I was saying with these fixtures, um, I think these were like blue starfish or it was like something wild and random that didn't make sense. So I switched out all the hardware. Is that what it's called? Mm, hardware? Yeah. I switched out all the hardware to black because I feel like black is timeless and it just never gets old no matter um, what I decide to do with room decor and things like that. So now we'll go over to the bathroom. It's kind of small for it being like a part of the master um, bedroom, but it works. It's just Kitty and I, we don't have kids. Um, so yeah, um, we don't have a lot of countertop space, which is one thing that I wish we would have had, um, but it's okay because I got this to kind of help with the storage situation. Um, I got this from Etsy, um, from some little cute little Etsy shop. Um, and it kind of just brings some textured um, qualities to the bathroom. Got a little candle. These vases, I guess they're not really vases, they're like little jars. Literally got them from the dollar store. Um, 
and then other stuff. This is my water flosser that I use. Um, it's from Hygiene Doctor and I'm actually um, sponsored by them. So if you guys, you know, wanna improve your oral hygiene, I'll go ahead and leave my referral link down below. You can get 15% off of your order and they're relatively um, decently priced um, in comparison to other water flossers. So um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, but yeah, let's see. I got this cute little um, soap jar from Home Goods. Honestly, the more that I use it now, it kind of smells like um, 7-Up. So I am really excited for that to um, be empty so I can get a new scent. This was from Anthropology. Um, sometimes when I'm in here and I'm doing either um, skincare or, you know, kind of just relaxing, just got out of the shower and I'm taking a bath, I like to light candles. Um, it just makes me super relaxed. These, I'm pretty sure, are from Joann's. Um, they were like super cheap and then this glass jar, I forget, I think it also was like the dollar store. I just kind of put it in there just to give a little bit more color to the bathroom, a little bit more of a spa feel if you um, may. And then we have this over here which is the, what, what do you call that, like a, a toilet caddy or something? Oh yeah, it works. And it just goes over, this is actually its own piece from Home Goods, and it literally looks like the stuff that I got from the side of the road, so it's absolutely perfect. Looks like that pompous grass. Um, and, you know, it's cute. It's got some, you know, poopery for guests, um, some dude wipes, um, and all that good stuff. And then I also have this, which I got from Home Goods. Yes, I know, I didn't take the tag off, don't come for me. Um, but I like to have toilet paper in there and then also some Lysol spray as well. And up here, I used to not have anything up here, but because we don't have a whole lot of countertop space, I thought, you know what, let me try to make it somewhat organized, um, but not too cluttery. So um, we have Kenny's stuff up here, a speaker, because I love to play music while I'm showering or in the bath and then some makeup brushes and things I don't really use that much, um, but I still like to use sometimes. Um, and then this cute little piece was from Amazon. Um, you also saw one on my um, nightstand that I have, and I think there's another one as well somewhere around the house. Um, but this little acrylic thing I got from Amazon, and it kind of just has my teeth whitening strips in here, um, some blackhead remover strips, some eye wipes, some eye um, masks, and some facial masks as well. So I like having these organized whenever I'm having a stressful day or I just want to kind of have myself a little self-care day, I come over to this. And yeah, that's kind of honestly it. I mean, I have some towels and things that are all from Target. This is from Target. I think it's like the Room Essentials, like super cheap, cheap, just white. Um, there was actually no rod in here. So I got this black rod from um, Amazon, ordered it, and Kenny went ahead and put it up for us. But yeah, that's kind of it for the bedroom and bathroom. I'm going to kind of divide the house per room. So I'll do like a kitchen tour, I'll do a living room tour, and then I'll honestly just probably do upstairs um, in just one video. Um, I thought it would be better for me to kind of show you bits and pieces as I get the decor pieces that I want. So the living room will probably be last because I am waiting for that one statement piece. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video or like for me to do more decor videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, video suggestions. I'd be more than happy to put out content that you guys like or want more of. And yeah, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.